live, episode eight. What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for checking in. Ooh, the mic is hot. The mic is hot. I think the mic is hot. Uh, how's that? That feels better. Is that a little bit better? <sighs> you don't know. I don't know. Who care? Who care? Does it matter? Uh, uh-uh. uh. Sure doesn't. Sure doesn't matter. Um, this episode of the podcast is brought to you by no one because I don't have sponsors. But um, if you want to drink a really good wine, if you're 21 and over, hey. Get this right here. Peltier Winery uh, up in Lodi, California. There's USB. It's a dessert wine. It's very tasty. It's very delicious. Go get it. Drink all of it. Um, wh- how are you guys doing, man? You, you okay? You doing all right? I'm okay. Um, I did a couple of Zoom comedy shows over the past few weeks. Got me feeling like the dude from Split. <sighs> Because I feel like I'm talking to myself on, on all those shows. Because they, they mute the audience, which is probably better because th- then you just have a bunch of people interrupting and you can't see who it is. Oh, it's so annoying. Zoom comedy shows. I'll do them if you're booking a Zoom comedy show. I guess I'll do it. It's just I, I could do this. I, it feels like I'm talking to a mirror. I'm just I'm like telling like, hey, you guys ever <laughs> like looking into the computer like, hey, you guys <laughs> remember hot yoga? I got a great hot yoga bit right now that I can't do, and I can't even work on it because I don't have a crowd. But that's okay because I work on it in, uh, by myself by, by uh, in my room when I do a hot yoga all by myself. So we're we're making the best of it, you know. Um, promo stuff up top. Uh, last week's episode, episode seven, with my buddies Stevie Emerson and Alex Veronos, was a four-hour podcast marathon. If you haven't listened to it yet, please go check it out. We talk about. All types of stuff. If you listen to that episode, you will know us better than you know your mother, for sure. Maybe better than you know yourself. Depends on how well you know yourself, okay? So go listen to that. We talked about all kinds of cool stuff. Um, I really like those dudes, man. Stevie is a really cool guy. Al- Alex is dope. They're both great. They're, they're both cool dudes. And they have – Stevie has a very um, specific view of, of his – uh, work uh, and and like his his way of um, navigating his way through like Hollywood as lame as that sounds dude Hollywood is uh, a place where you need to have a way to guide yourself through it I'm still trying to figure out mine Stevie's nailing his down it's great to see it it's awesome to see good people getting good stuff done um, I am a fan because I've seen so many people that suck get awesome stuff that happens to them and that's just annoying that's annoying. That's, a, that's why, like, the internet sucks. Ooh, we're ranting today, dude. I just had six fucking cookies, bro. I had six of them, okay? I had six homemade cookies with three types of chocolate in it and pistachios. We're, we're going on a full rant, all right? The, inter- the internet is a, f- is a nightmare. The internet's a nightmare. There It is. It's a fucking nightmare. I don't like it, and I love it at the same time, all right? Because I, I get all my news, all my information on the internet and I put all my work out on the internet and um, sometimes I'll work on something for a really long time and it gets zero love but I know it's funny the the 400 people that watch it think it's funny but why is only 400 people watching it YouTube I got 60 all right this is rant time all right this is first world problem rant time dude I got 60,000 subscribers on face on uh, YouTube right I got 60,000 subscribers on YouTube how's a video only gonna get 400 views and I'm talking about a good one like not a shit like the shitty ones yeah it's just a shit post what it was a quick thing idea that I had or a quick piece of content that I wanted to put out because I just wanted to put it out but like a good one is only gonna get 400 views that's the algorithm something I don't I can't I don't know what it is I haven't figured it out there's something going on where I don't know if it's the keywords I've tried so many different titles I've tried different keywords I've tried different um those the the uh the search terms i tried the first line shit in the description uh, you know and i've tried trust me dude if it could be done i've done it in trying to test that stuff out no idea what's going on all right somebody commented on one of my things recently they were like bro i don't know why youtube this actually happens a lot i've gotten a few comments especially in the past few months of people saying like hey i don't know why youtube is hating on your shit so much or like why is youtube not putting this in my recommended or like why how come you're not like uh you know your numbers on youtube are so bad when this is so funny and good i don't know ask fucking youtube dude 
hey, YouTube, what's going on? What did I do to hurt you? Okay? I'm sorry. I'll make, I'll give you a cookie. Do you want a cookie? I will give, I just made the best fucking cookies you ever have in your life. I'll give you a cookie, YouTube. Stop hating on my shit, dude. I'm not racist. I'm not sexist. I'm not, you know, Alaskan-ist. I don't hate Alaskan people. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. But um, it doesn't. who cares? Also, because we're all going to die in 100 years, and most of us will never be remembered for more than a couple years after that. And is that a dark and negative thing? Yeah, uh-huh, it is. But you know what? We're locked inside right now with our dark and negative thoughts, and um, I just had six cookies. So I'm in a good mood. So we're going to go to places that we've never been before. Uh, the Internet is a n- nightmare. We We talked about that. But it is, dude. It's like... It's just, it's so, it's so like, um, uh, it's like, uh, it's like getting fu- like, pu- like rocked in the face. Like the internet will just fuck, fucking rock you in the face with its dick. But you, you just got to take that internet dick, dude. You got to take that internet dick and then come back even bigger and harder than the internet's dick or whatever. There's a metaphor there. You, you can figure it out. I, I don't want to live on the internet forever. I don't want an internet career. I, it was never a goal to be a YouTuber. It still isn't. I don't consider myself a YouTuber. I consider myself a comedian. Um, and to be a comedian, you need to, I think, this is my opinion of me, to be a comedian, you got to um, uh, work out on, on different platforms. You got to exercise your content across different mediums and different channels and different platforms in order to reach an audience and challenge yourself. And so I'm doing that on everything except for TikTok because fuck TikTok. But I'll try TikTok again. Uh, so it, it just it's baffling sometimes when I put something out that I think deserves s- huge numbers. And I check back after like five hours and there's 348 views. What? 348 views? And I'm sending this out to 60,000 60, people get a notification on YouTube every time I post a video. And you think, okay, 10,000 of those people are bots or fake. Another 10,000 don't have their account anymore or aren't on YouTube enough to get the notification. Maybe another 10,000 um, are subscribed to so many people that they don't keep up with their notifications. Okay, that's 30,000 off the map. That's half, right? So I stu- that's still 30,000 left. Wh- where are those 30,000 people at, dude? All of them click subscribe at one point. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and I also don't care. It's just interesting to think about because at the end of the day, I know what I'm doing is good and I know that I can be better. And so I'm going to keep trying to be better and, and I'm going to take those 348 views because you know what? 348 is better than 347. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, the th- I also got a comment that was like, uh, dude, you're so underrated. Somebody Somebody said that. Somebody was like, dude, Bro, you're so you're so I got a comment that said, dude, you're so underrated. And I appreciate that, but I also like I would so much rather be underrated than overrated. Dude, I know people that are overrated, like personally. And to be overrated and not be very good, that is not a long term game plan, bro. It sure isn't. I would much rather be underrated and know that I'm good because then in the long run, as people start to p- figure out, Oh, this guy deserves 349 views instead of 348. Yeah. It's like, yeah, motherfucker. He does. <laughs> he does. You know what I mean? So I would, I would rather be underrated than overrated because to be underrated, at least you can look forward to one day getting the recognition you deserve and finally being able to reach people and connect with people that you would like to bring uh, happiness to. Uh, rather than being overrated and know that you're a phony the whole time, you know, and know you that that you're a one trick pony and you don't have anything else going on and you're not talented. Okay, uh, that because that's tr- that, but that's a true thing, and we all I think uh, have seen people like that um, in the entertainment world, uh, musicians like you know mumble rappers, for example, uh, or like you know shitty actors or, or like co- comics that just pop real quick off of one thing, and um, and that's no hate to them. That's great, dude. But, like, get better, you know? Like, keep going. Uh, and, and become good and deserve the love. And, and, and uh, recognize it and appreciate 
the love that you get because a lot of people don't get love that deserve love. And I know a lot of people that are overrated and I know a lot that are underrated. My buddy Morgan is underrated. Um, I had him on episode two, I think, or three or something. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know who Morgan is. Morgan J. Very funny. Very underrated. Deserves a lot of success. But you know what? He's so strong and good that I'm looking forward to seeing him blow up because um, he's going to be ready for it. Like when, when that moment comes and you're underrated and then the moment finally comes, <sighs> it's off to the races, dude. So uh, I'm wearing a hat because under this, my hair has grown so big. I look like Will Ferrell in semi-pro. Um, dude, did you guys see Mike Tyson <laughs> throwing punches? <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, Mike Tyson throwing punches at age 53 is one of the scariest things I've ever seen. I've ever seen. Mike Tyson throwing blows at age 53. That dude is so big, and he's throw he's using his whole body behind a punch, dude. Would you take a punch? How much would you need to take a punch from Mike Tyson? How much would it take for you to take one punch from Mike Tyson? And it can't be to the face because I honestly think one punch would severely impact the rest of your life. So not to the face. Because that's like, because like to the face, it's like you're either going to have brain damage or you're going to need like uh, real heavy surgery to repair your face or you're going to die. It's, it's going to be one of those three things. I wouldn't do it for any amount of money. I wouldn't take one to the face. To the body? You buy me a Chipotle burrito. I'll probably take one to the body. You buy me a burrito, I'll take it. I'll take a Mike Tyson punch to the body for sure. A for a burrito? Yeah. I'd do it. Um, that shit was crazy, dude. What else? What else we got, dude? Bro, uh oh, some of the things I was talking about in, in episode seven with Stevie and those guys was um and I talked about this with my mom too. Wim women in comedy and we, we were talking about women in comedy and how how you don't find as many like sketch like online sketch comedians that are women. Um and I think online sketch comedy is easier for an independent comedian to uh build a following than like T V and, and things that are then like uh, uh uh movies and T V and, and things like that because there's still like I mean there's sexism in the workplace for everybody. Who am I talking about? Sexism a fucking you know blogger uh, but like online, it's like up to you, you know, it's up to you to, to get good and put stuff out. And I, th I think it's a numbers thing for sure. Um, there, there are just physically less sketch comedians that are women than men. And I think that's why it's hard, harder to find. I know a lot of really funny ones. Hannah Pilkas is super funny. Daniel Schw uh, Schwartzman is super funny. Chloe Feynman, who's on SNL, is super funny. Katie Dole is super funny. You know, I know pe I know a lot of um, sketch people. Mimi Von Schack is super funny. A lot of people, I, I know a ton of them because I'm in that world. But I think for, like, the average person out there, if you ask them who their favorite sketch comics, or sketch comedians are, or people that do comedy online, uh, majority is going to be men. Just because the, the of numbers. But I was, I was having this conversation with my mom, and I w it's interesting to think, like, I wonder on a per capita basis – Who's more successful? And it's not like a competition thing. It doesn't fucking matter. I was just, it, it's an interesting thought experiment. Like who, like, it, are the men that are super successful in comedy, are there more, how do I phrase this, dude? I don't know. I didn't take a CBD gummy, so my head is kind of loopy. Also, I just ate six cookies, which you guys already know. Like, it, the women, the amount of women that are in comedy, right? And then the amount of women that are, like, at the top of the game, right? Are there more per capita for how many women there are in comedy than there are like top of the game men comedians, you know? It's just an interesting thought to to think about. And then also that there's th I mean w women get held back, which is not right and that's a whole other conversation for somebody much smarter about all that than me. Um but I do know that and I know people that have struggled with that and and uh I love you ladies so um and men and everybody in between. All right. Uh Dude, hey, girls, here's a message. Stop taking pictures of yourself 
and posting it to Instagram, followed by the same exact picture of yourself doing something a little different. Girls, girls, do, girls love posting two pictures on Instagram where that two, the two pictures look exactly the same, except in one of the pictures, they're doing, they're like in the first picture, they're doing this. And in the second picture, they're doing this. This is picture number one. Eyes up. Hand to the forehead. Half smile. Picture number two. Eyes down. Hand to the forehead. Half smile. Dude, what is that, dude? You don't have to do that. You shouldn't do that ever. That's not a thing that you should be doing at all. Because we saw that you saw we saw what you're like in the first picture already. So don't do the same thing in the second picture. Or like, don't post the second picture. Just post one of those pictures. I don't want to see you twice doing the same thing. Show me you one time doing that thing that you're doing in that sundress, in that dandelion field, and then don't post the second picture of you in that sundress, in that dandelion field, looking left instead of straight forward. Don't do that. You, that's that w- so unnecessary. It's so unnecessary, <laughs> dude. Uh, I don't get it. I don't get it. It would probably help your algorithm to just post one of those, dude. Just, it, it, it uh, I don't know, man. D- that's like, all right. That's that, that's that piece. You just don't need to do that. Girls on Instagram will take a picture of them in a, in a bikini and put um, a motivational caption underneath it. Like, dude, I saw somebody posted a picture of them in a bikini, like, looking backwards th- in like this position where you could see like their cleavage and their ass because they're wearing a thong on the beach and then the caption was like guys stay strong through this quarantine we're all in this together if you need to talk to anybody just feel free to reach out but like you're showing your asshole in the picture we s- can see your asshole in the picture and you're motivating us with your asshole. Also, nobody's reading the comment, the caption, dude. That's unnecessary, bro. You don't gotta do all that. Just put, just be be normal. People on the internet. No one's ever said that. No one's ever gonna do it. No one's ever gonna be normal on the internet. The internet, that, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I I I was scrolling through Twitter uh, earlier today and. I the um there's the there's a new thing with murder hornets. Holy shit. Come on, God. Bro, God, chill out, dude. LA got an earthquake last week. It sounded like a cannon went off in the alley behind my apartment. We're already locked inside. Are you gonna throw some some kill bees at us? Some of these murder hornets? Do you see a picture of them? They got the mandible like those like those aliens from Rick and Morty, dude. They look like those dudes with the, the uh, I don't know which ones. I'll put a picture on, on the YouTube. I'll try to find one. The murder hornets, they got the, the mandibles, dude. The fucking mandibles, bro, where they could just. What, was God, what is God doing up there, man? Do you guys think God is up there just like, <laughs> I'm so fucking high right now. Woo. Hey, JC, throw me another white claw. What is he doing? What is he doing? What's, what's next, God? What are you throwing us next? Murder hornets. Dude, I'm terrified of bees, bro. When I was a kid, I got stung by like 30 bees at the same time. I was at a family on a family trip on the East Coast. I was like four or five. And we were, we were, run, we, we were in the woods, me and my cousins. We, were, we weren't even running through the woods, though. We were traipsing. We were traipsing through the woods. You ever traipsed? Bro! <laughs> if you never traipsed through the woods, give it a shot. Traipsed through the woods. It, 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 we, were, we fucking traipsed, dude. You ever traipsed, bro? It's like, it's like, imagine, like imagine a centaur running, but not even running, just like kind of bouncing. Imagine a fucking centaur bouncing up and down. That's what traipsing is with just man, man body up here 
and just fucking horse ass behind him and just bouncing. That's traipsing, dude. We traipsed through those fucking woods as kids. And we were traipsing through these bushes of leaves and we were jumping from one big pile of leaves to the next pile of leaves. And one of them was not a pile of leaves. Okay? One of them was a bee's nest. Regular bees, not murder hornets, because if it was murder hornets, we'd be gone. We wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. And I jumped into the this pile of leaves, and all the bees came up and were like, "Yo, what the fuck? And I was like, oh, fucking, oh, shit, dude, I'm fucking sorry, I don't know, I'm a kid. And they were like, oh, we don't like your kind. And they came at me, and they just, the, 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 the bees are so fucking scary, dude. They're born, bees are born with a weapon coming out of their asshole. Bees are born with a weapon coming out of their asshole, dude. That's like, imagine being born with a a trident coming out of your asshole. That's what a bee is. Like, if you were born and the doctor said, ah, oh, baby looks good, very healthy, long trident. That's what a bee is. But normally, they have that. They have, they're born with a weapon coming out of their ass, dude. And I jumped in the pile of leaves and the bees swarmed up and they all stung me and we started running out and I was like ah bye, bye, motherfucker and I ran out and I ran up to my mom I was crying and she was drinking a beer she's like what the fuck are you doing and I was like mom and so she was like blah, 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 I'm drinking a beer no I'm just kidding she was like <laughs> but she knew it you know and she was like ah what's going on and I ran out and I was like mom and blah, 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 fucking bees and she poured her beer all over me because <laughs> alcohol ki- kills bacteria or something I don't know thanks mom for pouring beer all over me and then she's picked me up by the ankle and threw me in the ocean and um then i had to go to the doctor and i got stung a bunch of times it was terrifying and like but imagine if those were murder hornets bad news that would have been bad news um an- oh another thing that i didn't uh promote at the beginning i put out a special dude it's like not a it's not a huge deal, so I didn't really promote it, but it's on my YouTube channel. It's called Living Room Live. Um, for the p- every week since quarantine began, I've been putting out these digital comedy shows on Saturday nights. These thir- thirty minute comedy shows with um, sketches and stand up clips from other people that I really enjoy, and I host segments in between. So I put out this special with my favorite moments from that show, all of my stuff, no, nothing from anybody else. And it has all my quarantine content. There's some videos on there that, that you might have already seen, like bros in quarantine or celebrities on Zoom or whatever. And um, it's cool. It's 24 minutes, and I'm going to leave it up forever. And I consider it my first uh, comedy special, which is cool. It's, it's a chill thing. I had a lot of fun making it. I'm pretty proud of it. I think it's one of those things that I'll look back on 20 years from now when I'm homeless uh, living under a bridge and be like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Go, wa- go watch it, please. And, uh, you know, it's a fun time. It's a, That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to have fun through all of this. And sometimes it's hard to have fun. It's hard to be motivated, dude. I've, I've had some real difficulty being motivated through this whole thing, like trying to wake up every day and have an idea to do to like do something productive when it feels like nothing matters at all. That's hard, man. It's really, it's really hard, especially for somebody that makes a living off creating stuff. Why create when no one else is, is like really creating? Everybody's just and uh, like, you know what I mean? Like show, like nothing shooting. There's no, it, it almost feels sometimes it feels like there's nothing to work for, which is like the opposite of a motivated mentality. But it's interesting to sink into that mindset every once in a while and then as soon as I snap out of it and realize, oh, I got a lot to work for, dude. I got a lot to work for. Um, it almost like hypes me up even more once I snap back into reality and re- remember all the things that I'm working toward, if that makes sense. Maybe it doesn't because this is me rambling for six people on a podcast. Um, and But maybe it does, dude. So if it just find something that you know you can work for and i've been watching the michael jordan documentary lately which i will talk about every week for the next three weeks because that's it's i do i'm sh- recording this podcast as soon as i finish watching it on sunday night um main takeaway from the michael jordan documentary w- episodes five and six 
are uh, that a young Tony Kukoc looks like that dude from Road Trip, um, Kyle. Uh, if you haven't seen the documentary, go watch it because young Tony Kukoc looks like that dude, Kyle from Road Trip, dude. You, and if you've seen Road Trip, you remember, dude, that dude Kyle's a fucking man, dude. That <laughs> this scene, me and uh, me and my friend from high school, Marin, we we uh, memorized the handshake that they do outside of the black fraternity in that movie. Was it the black one, or was it the white fraternity? I don't know. There's there's a fraternity where they do this crazy handshake, and me and my buddy Marin memorized the handshake. I bet we could still do it. Yeah, Zai Kai, Zai Kai, Zai 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 Kai. If you've seen the movie, you get the reference. If you haven't, go watch it. Road Trip. It's very funny. Um. Young Tony Kukoc looks like that. Uh, listen to the new Drake album. It's pretty dope. I love it. The the guy can't miss. Uh, but you know who can miss is Playboy Cardi. Who the fuck is that, dude? Playboy Cardi. Hey man, you did a song with Drake and you sounded you sound sa- you sound like a mouse caught in a mouse trap, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? Playboy Cardi. I don't care how famous you are, dude. That verse was ass, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, Playboy Cardi. Stop being bad at rap. You got Drake hitting you up to do a song. What? It, were you so excited that your voice just went to that high pitch and you just kept rapping like that? Yeah, when I kneel, I kneel, I is that how he always raps man i hope not oh my god i was shocked when i heard that song what's it called pain in 1993 which is the most drake title for a song of all time by the way pain in 1993 there's nothing more drake than a song that's called pain in 1993 dude and but like playboy cardi Man, you were so bad on that. Why were you so bad, dude? Playboy Cardi. Let's see. I'm just going to Google his name. Oh, good. Everybody else knows he's bad, too. Dude, he was so bad at that. Oh, I couldn't. Oh, man. I keep talking about it. But, like, man, it was so bad. Uh, what? It, yeah, the first the first one. What is Playboy Cardi saying? Um... <laughs> that's just that's a google it's just what what is playboy cardi saying <laughs> let me search that what is playboy cardi saying <laughs> man you can't have that be the first the first thing that people search for when they're looking you up bro how old is this dude he's 23 all right, I'm 17, so he's a little bit older than me, but still, dude, don't be bad at what you're doing when you're on a Drake song. There's no way Drake liked that verse, man. There's no way Drake got his verse back and listened to it and was like, <laughs> yeah, this is dope. Oh, what did he do? What did he do for that? Did he suck a bunch of helium out of some balloons at Toys R Us? No? Okay. Okay, were people stabbing him with forks the whole time that he was doing this? Were people stabbing him with salad forks the whole time he was rapping this verse? No? Okay, okay. Damn, this fool's got some tricks. Okay, okay, okay. That must have been what was happening, right? Because that's the only thing that could make his voice sound like that, is if he's being stabbed with salad forks while somebody is punching his mom in the throat and also he has to poop really bad. All those things are happening at the same time for Car- Playboy Car- for Mr. Cardi. And that's why he sounds like that on the Drake song. There's no other explanation, dude. Put me on the Drake song. It'll sound way better than Playboy Cardi. Good Lord. <coughs> I think I would, too. Um, there's a lot of rappers out there that are not good uh, and that are overrated. Maybe, But maybe he's good. I, haven't, I literally haven't heard anything else he's ever done. So I will do that. I will do my research. And I will not judge Playboy Cardi for this one absolutely ass verse that he did on a Drake song. I will not judge him for that. I will judge him by his body of work and not for this mistake that he made. (laughs) Oh, it was so bad.
man, why did he do it like that? Oh, man. All right. All right. All right, dude. Oh, I saw Extraction. That was the other thing I wanted to say, dude. Extraction. The movie Extraction with Chris Hemsworth on Netflix. Oh, my God. There are so many bad things out there. And this is all subjective, dude. This is just my opinion. I'm not trying to be negative. But when they were making Extraction, do you think the producers in the room were like, all right, so it's going to be this movie, right? And we're going to have this movie... Uh, and the plot is going to be the same plot that Denzel Washington has in all of his movies. It's going to be the same exact plot. All right. And then another producer chimes in like, all right, but wait, let's do it in India. All right. And that way we get two big ass audiences, dude. And producer number one's like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's great. I love it. We'll shoot in India for no fucking reason, even though we can do this any literally anywhere else. Let's do it in India and make it cost $100 million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is good. That's good. And I will raise you this. I will raise you this. There should be zero character development for the main character. I don't want to find out who he is, what he's done, what his past is, and where he's going next. I don't want to know. I don't, I don't, want, to, I don't want to care about him at all. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. We'll do that. All right. And we're not going to have an original story. We're not going to have any character development. And we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna have an original. We're not gonna, we're gonna have a lot of cliches, as many as we can fit into one movie. All right, mysterious woman, okay, uh, child stuck between a rock and a hard place. All right, and former veteran that's little mysterious and rough around the edges. All right, okay, wait, wait, wait. I got it. One more thing, just to bring it all together. Okay. I want at least 74 different close-up shots of Chris Hemsworth's arm veins. Okay? Oh, right, wait, one more thing. Gunshots. A lot. Boom. Extraction. Netflix. Watch it now. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, you can watch it if you want. It's it probably, maybe you'll like it more than I did. All right, guys. That's it. I've had enough. Um, these cookies are going to make me pass out. So, uh, go watch, watch the special living room live, a quarantine comedy special made entirely in my living room. Literally the entire thing was made in my living room. Um, so watch that and you will have a full map of my apartment. If you're a stalker, uh, please don't use that for anything other than private purposes. Um, that's it, dude. Podcast episode over. Love you so much. Tune in next week. And we will further the mental breakdown until we're allowed to go outside. Okay? All right. Love you guys. Bye-bye.